Hello. So uh, tonight's the night. I don't know if you've seen a few weeks ago. I posted uh, a video. It's one of my, one of my first videos um, about a team new hammock that I brought for twelve pound. Uh, a bit of a first first look video. And at the time, I said I would spend the night in it. That was about a month ago. And I'll be honest, I've been putting that off, spending the night in it because it's too small for me anyway. So I put on my community tab the other day that I've got a, a, a van camp video coming out this Monday, which is the 26th. Whether you wanted to see a hammock video with one of the, T, the DD hammocks that I brought in this video, or uh, whether you wanted to see a night in the in the Team U hammock, and the Team U hammock was the one that people wanted to see. Okay, so we have parked up. We've done a bit of a recce. Not exactly where I thought we were gonna end up, to be honest. Like I say, I didn't know where we were gonna end up. I had a general idea. But uh, we've stopped a bit closer to where I thought we were gonna be. Uh, not a million miles away from the car or from the road, but should be far enough that, yeah, under here. Should be far enough that, uh, we're not seeing or anything else and it should be a good camp it's about 25 past four now gets dark in around about an hour's time temperature's dropping already so it's not ideal however like i say hopefully a bit more prepared than i was on my last hammock camp which if you didn't see that video well i made a stupid mistake so yeah, uh, well yeah, this is camp. So we're going to hammock between these trees. Perfect, nice flat bit of ground. Something like this. And I know I know the haters are going to hate, but, hang on. I know haters are going to hate, but with cameraman Stan, he's only 13, so I don't really want him between his own trees. So we're going for the bunk bed. Uh, style. So that's me in the bottom in the Team U hammock and then cameraman Stan he's going to be above me in the Aldi hammock. We've still got the uh, still got the undercuts to go on yet but let me show you what it looks like from in there. So yeah this is it so to be honest there's actually more room in, considering he's above me, there's actually more room than uh, than you'd actually think. I've got plenty of room for my feet down there. The hammock's a bit restricting, I'm not gonna lie. So whether, how well I actually sleep, because my sleeping bag's huge, I don't know. So this particular one comes with the bug net, so I'm not sure if you watched the, the video, the, the initial setup of this um, hammock. But the bug net, there's sort of there's, uh, there's loops all along there, and the loops all along there. You just string them out around the trees, and it kind of keeps it off your face. Uh, what else can I say? So far, well, I'm chilling. We've gone for almost top and tail, so my head's this end, whereas cameraman's feet are above my head to give us well to give me a bit more room. Uh, yeah, it's not due to rain, 
I'll show you the top that we've the top setup we've gone for because again it's very mishmash, very um, yeah. So the only downside is getting out. Whoa. Isn't uh, isn't the easiest. So I'm kind of putting my shoes on. So at least I'm not on the floor. And then I'm kind of swinging myself. And then he says, Summer like that. Shoes on. Oh, there we go. <sighs> yeah, okay, so and the but like I say to always say to my kids, they always remember the fun times more than well, you know, the sort of these kind of times rather than they remember the good proper fun times. Does that make sense? I know what I'm trying to say. You know. Remember that time when we went Alton Towers? Well, uh, which time? What about the time we slept in the hammocks at the chase? Double decker in and camp was a bit of a mess. So this is camp. So got the under blankets on now and I'm going to get the lights on so you can see. This is camp anyway. This is the setup we're going for. So I'm down there. DD under blanket underneath the T T uh, Team U 12 pound hammock. And then there's an under blanket there for cameraman Stan. Kind of. It's not quite. It needs adjusting. But the problem is on that Aldi hammock, there's no way of actually attaching it to the hammock itself. So I've I've just gone a bit just gone a bit wild and attached it wherever I can. Um tarp. Well the tarp is what it is. Beautiful, beautiful night tonight. That's how it's you to stay. Right, so what are we doing for dinner? So, brought some of these foil bags. To be honest, tonight we've actually got super noodles. You know, the, the dried super noodles. You usually chuck some boiling water in, bang it in the microwave. Well, I thought I'd try to see if I could do it in here. So I'm gonna boil some water, chuck it in there, and I'm going to leave it and see if they'll rehydrate the pasta. So we need about 300 ml of water. Three hundred ml of water, which I'm going to bring to the boil. See in there? Just some dried, just some super noodles, curry flavour. Look at that. Once that's boiled, drop it in the bag and then uh, seal it up. Give it a few minutes. Okay, I think we are at a boil. Oh, that's hot, believe it or not. This is the first time I've actually done this. So, I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. So let's see. Seal that up. I'll leave it a few minutes. And then, uh well, yeah, I'll go from there. Right, the time is... <laughs> Sorry. <gasps> right, somewhat like that. There we go. There we go. 
the camera, the, the light attachment which goes on top of the GoPro has snapped. So uh, I think I'll be sending that back via Amazon. Anyway, uh, pasta. So I've got them Stan. Or well, the noodles, pasta. Yeah, camping pasta, the super noodles. Well, let's have a look. Been in there for about five minutes now. Hang on, hang on. Oh, there we go. So that's what they're saying. Okay. Oh my god, it's boiling. It's hot. A little bit too much water gone in, maybe? Yeah, probably. Are they nice and soft? I think so. Oh, yeah, perfect. Be careful, it's really hot. Yeah. There we go, job done. So, uh, so um, super noodles, they work in them foil bags. Foil bags, just got my half uh, again off Amazon. Seen them through the English Woodman's, English Woodman's channel. I couldn't speak, I can't speak tonight. English Woodman's channel uh, a few weeks ago. So, um, really, really, first time I've used them. I've had them for a while, but it's the first time I've used them, so. I can. I'll try to do it this way. Does that work? So, my goodness me. I'm going to. Uh... What's in your belly? Yeah. Blinding me. Blinding me, blinding you. I completely forgot. I've actually brought the trail camera with me tonight. Um, again, being completely honest. I don't actually think we're going to catch anything where we are. I mean, there's hundreds of, there is hundreds and, well, thousands of deer over the chase where we are. Um, but we are set over a very vast land. Um, I know exactly we could go to a camp spot every day of the week um, and see them, catch them every day of the week. Um, but there's loads of, I'm going to try and turn that torch down. How the hell did it? But there's loads of dog walkers and stuff comes to, you know, those spots. So, I'm just going to set it up anyway, just on the off chance. You never know. Okay, so there is the... There's hammocks. Uh, trail cam is on that one there. All set up. There's a bit of a path there. Hello. So, uh, it's about 8 p.m., something like that. Obviously, lying in the hammock. Uh, been laying here for about an hour. Cameraman is above me. Uh, obviously, it's a pretty cold, pretty cold night so far, so we've just been chilling in, in the sleeping bags, to be honest. Really warm. My room is... Oh yeah, that's 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 his legs. But yeah, something like that anyway. Oh, just popping on to say that. My oh, goodness me, I'm sorry. There's obviously not much room in here. However, it's comfortable, so I'm nice and warm. But yeah, just popping on to say that. Um, I won't be recording anything else tonight because, yeah, I'm not recording just for the sake of it. So I'm going to put the camera away and then uh, chill a bit longer and then, yeah, get some sleep. I'll bring you back in the morning. Oh, man. Morning. I don't want to, uh, oh, I don't expose too much yet because it's absolutely freezing. How did I sleep? Well, I slept. Uh, I'm not exactly in the hammock properly still. My feet are, I'll show you, down there. As I said before, it's not the biggest hammock. I think it's 2.4 meters by I can't remember. I flashed I flashed the dimensions up on screen. Um oh, someone's gotta give though people. 
my toes because they're not under the under the uh the part of the underquilt my toes are absolutely freezing however saying that the rest of my body is still pretty cold as well so does anyone know of any underquilts that completely cover the hammock or you know like a full length winter one as i put stuff away i'll show you i'll show you properly now it's a bit lighter uh what we actually you know the setup as such um but for now it's around about 7 a.m but we're just uh yeah so things that things are liked about this hammock well the fact that it's got a built-in a built-in bug net to be honest um main reason i like that is because it kept me actually in the sleeping bag so if it wasn't i mean per my feet i'd be i'd be out of the thing uh oh, things i don't like about it it's not very big i'm six foot just over six foot one um but i slept you know it's sound it's actually for 12 quid and i will sleep in it again definitely um it didn't i'm not sure if you've seen the video of me unboxing unboxing it a few weeks ago but the straps it come with they weren't brilliant so i've just i mean it come with some sort of carabiner things hooks like what you call them um but the actual straps that go around the trees they were awful so uh i've just brought some different ones from daisy chains and used them tonight and well last night and it was absolutely sound uh but yeah as i say i'll show you a bit more of the hammocks as i'm putting it all away and stuff but for now i'm getting back in the sleeping bag because it's freezing all right we've got up now i just to brave it it's about quarter to eight gonna get out of here before anyone comes so the tarp just the tarp it's just a proper makeshift setup uh cameraman is in the hammock top one and then i was down there believe it or not it's actually sound close to the ground wasn't touching it it's actually perfect other than obviously the pretty discussed wind chill uh like i say we both got both got british army sleeping bags uh both got dd under under hammocks and then this hammock is a double hammock from Aldi, to be honest. Do you know what? It's one of Aldi's, one of Aldi's own brands. Absolutely perfect. Um, I'll bring you back in a minute to look at that one. Just thought I'd bring you back for a bit of a closer look at this Aldi hammock. Uh, so it's classed as a double hammock, as you can see, it's absolutely massive, not sure of the dimensions. And it comes just like this, big long daisy chains, uh, a few different attachments, comes with these. And do you know what, if you're on a budget, absolutely brilliant hammock. Um, I can't remember how much it was, to be honest, but it's one of those Aldi special buys. Um, I actually brought two, just because they were so cheap and they're perfect to keep in the van or the car uh, so yeah again team new hammock i'll bring you back in a minute when i've got the uh under quilt put away okay so we're left with the uh the team new hammock so i'm not sure again if you've seen the video a few down when i unboxed it the straps it come with were awful to be honest so i've just took my i've just borrowed some daisy chains from another one of my hammocks but it does come comes with a carabiner uh, either side and it comes with a bug net to be honest which to be fair for me last night the bug net was the best thing about it because with the hammock being so small um, it was actually the only thing that was keeping me well keeping my sleeping bag from falling out of the hammock to be honest so uh, again you know if you're on a budget you can't you can't grumble at 12 quid Although I did look last night, and if it's the same hammock, I had a quick look last night, and I'm sure it's gone up to 20 quid now, but when I got it, it was 12 pound. Um, like I say, if you're on a budget, you can't really grumble at it, especially as it's got the built-in bug net, which is, you know, comfortable. Yeah, it's comfortable. I've got to be honest, I wasn't looking forward to sleeping in it, but it was absolutely sound. Um, and I will do it again. 
Uh, the only thing with the bug net is you have to there's, there's tie out points well not tie out points loops one two three and then three more coming down the other side so you have to sort of put some cord or something around the tree through hoop 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 around the tree and then through hoop 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 again um i mean that's the only that's the only downside really is it a downside keeps the bug net off your face um but yeah sound so, so that's the hammocks both packed away coke can is obviously for size reference but yeah uh that's a team u one it's got its straps inside and that's the ld one right then guys that's a wrap um if you made it this far thank you very much obviously left no trace uh we are set up between this one and this one so yeah all our rubbish is gone hello it's a couple of days later now so the last clip was sunday when we left it's now it's not a couple of days later at all it's now monday it's the next day so i posted a couple of pictures on the hammock forums on facebook and sort of mentioned i was cold and pension took pictures of the hammock and people were saying that he hadn't cinched it correctly um around the hammock so all the cold air was coming in so when I actually look back at the, or look at the pictures, it makes complete sense. Um, so I didn't really want to end this video like that. So um, for my madness, I'm going to sleep out in the garden tonight in the hammock. Okay, so this is pretty much how I was sleeping in it really I guess uh, I guess by the time my weight comes down I'm kind of in there but nowhere near where I've seen people really cinching it up so I'm gonna do that now and I'll bring you back hopefully I can get it uh, decent okay so put it all on oh that looks a tooth thingy now don't know it's obviously not ideal but I'm hoping it's going to be a lot better than what it was. And the good thing with this one, I've took it apart a few times. I've actually used a sort of bit of a bit of a ridge line to bring the bug net off my face, which it wasn't like that before the other night. So it was at this point I realised that I'd actually set the hammock up the wrong way around, so that the zip was closer to the fence rather than the zip being this side. Well, there we go. And do you know what? Although it does flap down a little bit, I'm really surprised at how uh, how well made this thing is. To be fair, for 12 pound, it's obviously made in some kind of sweatshop. However, I uh, oh no, I can feel the rain starting to come down. So I'm going to quickly get this top set up, and then I won't be filming too much content tonight. I'll be honest. I'm going inside, have me dinner, have a chill, do what you normally do. And then uh, for my sins, I'm going to come back out here and sleep tonight. See, my concern is I'm six foot two. So at the moment, even though it's cinched up, my feet are past the end of the underquilt. So how else, how do people do it? How do people who are, you know, bigger than the actual underquilt themselves, how do they, how do they keep their feet warm? Uh, Looks like that's where the underquilt comes to. You can see the shadow where it comes to. Uh, that's the. Uh, that's it. Okay, so I'm not sure what you can and what you can't see. And to be honest, I'm trying to like this hammock. I'm trying to like this hammock, but I just can't. It's so small. I can't just this here that's the side of the hammock I mean well you know that is the zip for me that should be right down here and the side now that's the base that's the side whereas on the other side 
It's really, it's all the way down there. Do you know what I mean? So it's full stretch there. Directly opposite, full stretch is up there. So the hammock almost seems twisted. <sighs> when I try to untwist, hang on. Oh, I haven't actually got a clue what's going on. I can feel with my feet, I seem to be on top of the, uh, the underquilt. I'm not sure where the sleeping bag is going on here. Where have I got the right sleeping bag? I've got a couple of these sleeping bags. Kids have got one each, but theirs are smaller than, than, than mine. Uh, for some reason, I can't find the hood on this one. So I'm now thinking I might have the wrong one. I'll bring it back. My goodness me. Right, and I think it is the correct sleeping bag. I've just had a bit of a jiggly around and stuff. Managed to get in. The one difference straight away is I'm absolutely boiling. Um, four degrees outside. And I'm so much warmer than I was the other night. Combination of things that are different. Obviously, I've cinched the sleeve, uh, cinched the uh, the underquilt correctly. At least I think it's correct. I can definitely feel it. My feet are kind of like a bit more raised, <laughs> but I can't really see what's going on to be honest. Um, obviously, the tarp is literally like a tent right on top of me. I mean, you know, just on top of the hammock. Whereas obviously the other day I was exposed to the elements. Um, so to be honest, four degrees at the moment, but it feels really warm to the point where I think I'm going to take my hat off, at least for the time being. Um, like I said, it's only nine o'clock. I'm going to, uh, what time is it now? I say nine o'clock. It is now 20 past nine. I'm going to sit here, do a bit of scrolling as you do. Um, I'll lay here and then uh, I'll drop off. I can't see anything else interesting happening, so oh, I'll bring you back in the morning. No, night, guys. Okay, a little update. Three o'clock in the morning. Just been woken up by a neighbour's dog barking, which uh, isn't unusual, unfortunately. Uh, so far so good, really warm. I am in the wrong sleeping bag by the way. Yeah, I've had to get rid of the tarp. <sighs> Just three o'clock, with it being so close to the tent. Is it condensation or the dew? I don't know. Um, we started to drip on me. It started to, uh, when I moved and when I touched the tarp, it started to drip on me. So I've just got rid of that. It was on the outside, it was frozen. Um. Morning. Oh, it's only about quarter six. And I've slept really well. Actually warm. Oh. Didn't even have to take the uh Even after taking this off, sorry, the phone's, the phone's just died. Anyway, that's my view. Obviously, no tarp. Uh, a few little spots on here. I assume that's just from. A few little frozen spots on there. Yes, that is ice. I can confirm that is ice. However. <laughs> All good. Oh, you can't really see me, but I'll wrap that one up here. Thanks, guys.